G'day folks, Matt from mattnewman.com and today's tip of the day is colour-coded calendar entries. So this one was brought to me by a customer and essentially it was really, really simple. As you can see, I've got a calendar here and it's inside Lotus Notes and I have colour-coded categories. So the features in Outlook, it's really simple. Uh, here's an appointment, you can see that it's a standard green colour and if I go and right hand click on the appointment, come down here to the categorize option, I can go and choose a color category and now that calendar entry is sitting there in a completely different color. So how do we do it? Um, unfortunately, this is not built into the Lotus Notes client, so you have to build it yourself. It's really, really simple to put together. Essentially, what we need to do is just use a form which will contain a couple of custom fields for us. Um, this custom field form, that one, is the one that contains a, a few little images. I actually used exactly the same colour scheme that's available inside Microsoft Outlook. Um, included a few colour fields in here. That's actually going to create a dialogue box for us in a moment. Um, from there, we needed to actually go and change the default calendar profile. The tip in here with the calendar profile, what you're looking for is a little field called dollar calendar, which is all the way down here at the bottom of the profile form. And really all we did there was change the formula very slightly so that it included this tiny little addition. And the idea was here, if the record in the database has a calendar color, as in calendar color not equal to blank, then use the calendar color. So the principle is pretty straightforward. That other form I showed you a moment ago, which has the colored categories, we use that to determine what the color is. We use the fields so that the user can edit their own categories. Um, then we have to go and modify the calendar view. So if I switch over here to calendar views, you'll see that in the dollar calendar view, there's a color column in here, and again, I've used exactly the same formula. So if calendar color is not equal to blank, then use the calendar color field that's inside the record. And also, um, so that that's repeated, if the user has a profile completed, you inherit that down from that dollar calendar field that we were looking at a moment ago. Um, final change in here, inside the action bar for the user, I've just added in a brand new right click categorize feature and you'll see in here that we've got a whole heap of um, actions which essentially just go and change the color over to the color that you've selected. Um, by the way, just a little bit of a tip in here for those of you dealing with right hand click actions, you'll notice that there isn't the ability in here to actually go and choose the image for this right click action. The trick here is if you actually take the action turn it from a sub action into a normal action, then you can go and choose your little custom notes icon and just drag it back into the sub menu. All right, so there's a whole heap of stuff in here that your developer is going to need to do to implement this feature inside Lotus Notes. But once it's completed, there we go. There's my Lotus Notes calendar. If I click on the categorize action that I've now customized and included on my Lotus Notes calendars action bar, you'll see in here that I get a drop down to edit my categories. This is the form that I first showed you, which has the colors over here and the fields that you can go and categorize them. When you go and click OK, it just does a view refresh. And at that point, when you go and right hand click on a calendar entry, and come down to the categorize function, there are the nice color coded calendar actions that you can include inside Lotus Notes. So there's today's tip of the day, how to color code your calendar inside Lotus Notes. Enjoy.